nobody needs to take this as a joke. But a high school diploma is extremely essential. You, will, I'm sure you all have heard that you can't get a, a particular job without a high school diploma. You probably can't get any job without a high school diploma. Because if you don't get a high school diploma, that means that you didn't do what you were supposed to do when you were in high school. So what makes your job going to think that you're going to do what you're supposed to do at your job? Um, right. When you're in high school, the only thing that you need to worry about is getting your credits and graduating. You don't need to worry about anything else. Freshmen, sophomores, you need to worry about getting your credits. When when you become a junior, you start thinking about what you want to do. When you're going to go to college, what you want to do after college. What college you want to go to. And stuff like that. And then, when you become a senior, you top off your credits. You finish getting all your credits and then you graduate. High school is only four years. Not long, not very long. With me being a junior, I gotta start thinking about what college or university I would wanna attend. So, I but before I even go to college, college, I have to get a diploma. And I'm really seriously working hard. I'm not gonna let anybody, not necessarily anything, but anybody get in my way. Because half the time, the people who disrespect you or attempt to stop you from doing what you want to do, those people are not going to graduate. So just think about stuff like that. They're not going to graduate. The people who you see hanging out in the bathroom, in the hallway, not like just walking the halls, not really ever in class, what's the point of you guys just coming to school? You come to school to socialize, you can socialize at the house. I mean, you step on school campus for seven hours to learn, and then you go back home. Seven hours out of 24. Not, that's not even half. So you can't even do that. It's really no point of you even coming to waste your time. And you can pretty much tell the people who are hardly ever in class are not going to graduate. So... It's best that you not hang around those people. Unless you want to end up in their footsteps, which I would advise you not to do. Unless you plan up it living on a bridge. Because you see, I'm already past half of y'all. So, because I'm just so talented. I learn from the internet, my teachers, and of course myself. Because I know a lot. So, if you don't get a high school diploma... I don't know what to tell you. You just SOL. That's why high school is no joke. You, they give you time to socialize at lunch. But lunch is only so long. You, if you don't want to eat, you don't have to. Just go in, take a seat, and just wait until lunch is over. Then you got to go back to class. So... Just know what you're doing and be careful of how you do it. 11th grade is where you really need to start making sure you got everything down pat. Know what college you want to go to and finish getting your credits. I believe you need 17 credits to go to the 12th grade. At my school, I don't know about y'all other schools. At my school, you need 17 to go to 12th grade and 23 to graduate. So, make sure you you do what you got to do. If you're not going to do anything in high school, make sure you get a diploma. Let that be the first thing. Everything else doesn't really matter before that. You worry about it after you get your diploma. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty easy to say. Just make sure you get your diploma, and you'll be straight. So, if you just do that. I promise you that you will have made your principal proud, 
your teachers proud, your parents proud, and most importantly, you've done yourself proud.